Okay, welcome to another tutorial here. This one is going to be on using um, shapes and instances, and it's also going to deal with the way uh, Strata version 5.5 and beyond deals with inserting instances into a scene. So we're going to look at a couple of things together here in concert with each other. Um, there were some changes made to 5.5 to deal with how instances are set into a scene and also how um, uh, data is imported into the scene to make it more consistent with the position of the data. So um, you can see right here what I have is um, a scene of this, th these wrenches that I've used for a couple of other uh, tutorials here. And I have this arrangement right here. So uh, these are all referencing back to a single piece of data. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that we can um, arrange these using a, a, a sort of a nested hierarchy of transformations. So uh, let's uh, I'll go ahead and get started here with a, a simple scene and then we can progress to something like this. So what I'm going to do is come over here and I have double clicked on this object right here and what it has done, if, if we take a look at the uh, Object Properties palette, um, you can see it says Shape Name. I haven't given it an instance name, but its shape name is referencing uh, the um, wrench base uh, f um, shape, which is in the Resource palette here. So you can see I have in the Shapes tab of the Resource palette, I have this masterpiece of data right here called wrench base. So double clicking that or double clicking the icon here will bring up this master uh, data set right here, which is the subdivision surface object. So you can see now the object properties gives us direct control of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take this and copy this into a new scene and kind of start from scratch here to show how to build this. So I am going to uh, come over here and start a new file. Just put this, <clears throat> excuse me, over the old one there so I have that in the background. So I'm going to paste this uh, piece of uh, the subdivision object back into the scene. Now I've set it up so that it's set at 0, 0, 0 in the world space. So it's right at the middle of things. Now <clears throat> I'm doing that uh, to help for you know alignment purposes. I always like to kind of have things uh, at the very center of the universe when um, I have a shape. And then I'll let instances be strewn and thrown about my scene and, you know, arranged as necessary. But for my master data set, I like to have it um, set and oriented in the world, uh, world space, at the center of the world space in, in a shape. So what I'm going to do is this is now just sitting in the modeling area and I'm going to come to my, um, you can see here in the resource palette, it's showing me that I have this uh, subdivision surface object. So um, I can come over here to the Shapes tab, and I'm going to click New. And this will bring up a dialog box that will allow me to give it a name. And there are two options right here. One says Include Selection, and the other says Replace Selection. So the Include Selection is pretty self-explanatory. What it just means is include in this new shape that I'm creating whatever I have selected. And then Replace Selection just means once it's made that master shape, replace what I had selected with an instance of this shape. So I'll come over here and I'm just going to call this creatively Wrench. I'll call it uh, Wrench Master there. Click OK. New window pops up and it shows the wrench. Wrench is in the exact same place it was before, so it's just sitting you know, right there. So um, what we can do now is, I, in order to help orient what we're about to do, I'm also going to take and create just a sphere down here. This is going to help orient us when I start throwing this into our scene. 
So it's created it right there. And I, if I look at this from the top view, you can see it created it on the active grid so that it's sitting right in the middle here also. So close that down. Now it you can see now that what it has done is it is now showing this as an instance. So I'm actually going to delete this. One of the nice things about the way that Strata deals with shapes and instances is you don't actually have to have any of that data in the scene. It's stored in the file and it, it's stored in the shapes tab of the resource palette. Many other instance systems reference a piece of data that's in the scene but it has to be in the scene in order for other pieces of data to reference it. And Strata gives you the flexibility of not having to do that. So um, what I'm going to do now is um, have us take a look at one preference setting that I want you to set. Um, one of the options or changes that was made was a certain orientation function that would cause a new instance to be inserted into the into the scene and automatically oriented to the um, to the view. So that's what this is right here, and I'll just show you what that does. Um, but I I have it turned off. I I don't like it, but I'll show you what it does. So if this is on orient inserted shapes to view. If I just come over here, see I'm in an ortho, I'm in an uh, isometric view right here. If I just come over here, <clears throat> excuse me, and grab this and throw it in the scene, it looks really kind of random until you know what's happening. And you can see it, it looks just really kind of randomly placed in here, but actually it's not. It is obeying some rules. Uh, what is happening is that the face, the Z axis, is pointing towards. Um, our line of sight here in the view. So if I come over here and rotate and add another one in here, the new one will be rotated to face us, essentially is what it's doing. Now I I don't happen to like that. I, I like it to um, behave less uh, according to the view and more according to uh, standard axis.